Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julie and I'm here to do my reaction video for season 3, episode 3 of Stranger Things. This time, the title of the episode is Chapter 3, The Case of the Missing Lifeguard. And we are here, we are back, and we are definitely ready for a new episode of Stranger Things. Uh, last episode was incredible. So many things are happening at the same time. I'm gonna guess all these storylines are gonna, you know, cross eventually, you know. Uh, but so far, I am loving, you know, discovering little things here, little things here. And how will they, you know, affect and become bigger, I guess, in the final episodes, I guess. I don't know. I am enjoying this season. And I hope you guys are enjoying my reactions to this season. This is... Unlike season one and season two, which was a rewatch that I have done, you know, this past year. Uh, this one is my first time watching, like season three and season four are going to be my first time watching uh, Stranger Things. So this is my first time watching this episode, unlike the previous two seasons, which were a rewatch. And if you go to my Patreon, you can watch my first time reactions to the first seasons when they actually aired but they are being a bit like, I mean, season one is kind of okay. You can follow along. It's like the YouTube version. I didn't have uncut reactions back then. Season two is kind of uncut, but it's also like terrible <laughs> uh, quality, you know, uh, camera quality. And you can't actually see the, the thing on the side of the screen. It's a whole thing. <laughs> but anyways, uh, you can uh, now watch me react to season three for the first time and it's in a better quality and like I have shit figure out now so <laughs> uh, we're gonna watch episode three and I, I hope you guys enjoy I hope you guys like it I hope you guys continue supporting for more thumbs up hearts if you're on patreon continue supporting for more uh and yeah I hope you guys enjoy my reaction for this episode for now that's about it I hope you guys like it and without further ado let's just begin with season three episode three of stranger things here we go He'll come crawling back to you in no time, begging for forgiveness. True. I guarantee you, him and Lucas are like totally wallowing in self pity and his <laughs> Raymond. Oh, I hope they take us back. <laughs> are they? God, what I wouldn't give to see their stupid faces. <laughs> <laughs> I see them. Honestly, this is kind of invade. Like they, they, he's she's invading their privacy. <laughs> what are they doing? Eating. Yeah. <laughs> don't understand what I did to deserve this. <laughs> you lie. That's my whole point. Because women act on emotion and not logic. Precisely. What the hell? It's a totally different species. They say we are species. What? Oh my Emotion, god. Emotion, not logic. What? <laughs> it's right. Well, not right now. They broke up with you. What else is there to talk about? <laughs> so, 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 so the great mystery of the female species. Dude, you can smell the nacho cheese. Oh. Yeah. What? Oh no. No, Lucas, no. No. Lucas! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. What, what happened? They were burping in <laughs> like a total like I'm pretty sure that when Brennan wanted Eleven to use her powers, he did not picture this. <laughs> Even I think this is unnecessary. <laughs> well, oh, do you have a friend? He she has a friend over. Jim, calm down. Hey, hey! When I say three inches. Three do you knock? Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. Did you need something? No, no. I'll, I'll, Can you leave? I'll just start, <laughs> I'll leave you. Thing is, thing is that as parents, <laughs> like the fact that he's like, okay with her hanging out with Max, like, come on. Well, it's this time, so of course he's not gonna think something else, but... You know what I mean? You you catch my my riff, right? My riff, my drift. 
I don't know. Billy. You. Okay, look, I should just warn you, if he's with a girl or doing something gross, just get out of there right away before your scarf flies. Oh! So I'm just saying, I'm serious. He's really gross. Matt. Okay. Shutting up now. <laughs> Oh, the things that you're gonna find, Eleven. I found him. What's he doing? I don't know. Don't be afraid. He's on the floor. Now we are Talking to someone. Oh my god. Is she gonna see that thing? Just stay nice. Oh my god! What, what happened? <sighs> yeah, see, this is why you don't spy on people. What are you doing? Yeah, well, can you turn down the music? Please address me by my full name. What? My full name! Oh my god, okay. Will the wise <laughs> please turn down the music? That is not music. That is the sound of destiny. I have seen into the future, and I've seen that today is a new day. A day? Free of girls. What is happening? He's so right gay. Now? <laughs> look, come on. Popper, are you there? Oh, look who it is. We need to talk. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I've been stood up like that since Alice Gilbert in the ninth grade. It wasn't a date. What are you doing? Why are all these magnets suddenly losing their magnetism? Uh -huh. So I went and saw Scott. Scott? Who's Scott? Scott Clark. Your child science teacher? <laughs> pretty brilliant, actually. You stand me up, no phone call, no apology, because you had to go to Scott Clark's house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> also, it wasn't you a date. You've done yourself. You really have. Come on, dude. You've done yourself. Oh, come on. I'm, you're not even listening to me. It can't just be... Incidents, Papa, it, can't. it has to be them. Joyce, stop. It has to be the lab. It is impossible. Well, then prove it to me. Prove it. Yeah, take me back there. To the lab. Yeah, I want to go back. Because some magnets fell off your fridge. Yes. 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 Okay, makes sense. Uh, yeah, right? Thank you. It makes sense. I'm a little busy right now, but I'm thinking maybe we can meet up there, like tonight, like seven o'clock. You know, of course, unless something comes up, <laughs> which, you know, it will. No. <laughs> I love that he's being passive Everything aggressive. That's happened. This is no joke. No, you're not going back there. Oh, Joyce. yes, she is. Joyce, you're not going back there. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Guess what? She's not only going back there, but you're going with her. <laughs> I love the, the dynamic between these two. <laughs> you said Mike has sensed you in there before, right? So maybe it was just like that. Maybe Billy just sensed you no. somehow. No, he saw her. But the screams. Yeah, I know, but here's the thing. When Billy is alone with a girl, they make like really crazy noises. Yeah. They scream? Yeah, but like happy screams. It likes it cold. Max. Right? That's what what Will ice. used to say. It's just ice. It's probably for his muscles or something. He works out like a maniac. Oh. Wasn't he a lifeguard? Ugh. <laughs> oh my god. Why do you do that? You sure about this? Hawkins rodents prefer poison. Nut job tells all. <laughs> uh, guys, that's enough. That's such a. I think this is big, bigger than one article. In fact, I think this has got to be a book. What? The mysterious case of the missing fertilizer. A Nancy Drew mystery. <laughs> of course, you gotta be a jackass. <laughs> Next time a call comes in, do what you were hired for, and let us know. Yeah. We'll decide what's a real story and what's not. I'd like to try the peanut butter chocolate swirl, please. No. <laughs> no more samples today. Why not? Because you're abusing our company policy. Where's the sailor man? Sorry, he can't help you. He's busy. <laughs> busy with what? Spycraft. <laughs> 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 
Of course he is. Oh, uh, so totally know. so he meant here at the mall. Okay. What I'm looking for. Oh, hey, give me stop. Besides, I don't even get why you're looking at girls anyway. You have the perfect one right in front of you. Seriously, if you say Robin again, Robin, Robin, <laughs> Robin, 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 no, 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 Robin, no, 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 man, she's not my type. She's not even in the ballpark. Of what my type is, all right? What's your type again? Not awesome. Thank well, you. she's pretty awesome, but she's she's, she's giving me vibes. And she's weird. I give you the advice, you follow through. Not the yeah. way around, all right, pea brain. <laughs> oh, the relationship between father and child. Did you guys you know? hear that? Whoosh! You miss. Your flail clanks the stone. The zombie horde lumbers towards you, and the juju bites your arm. Flesh tears. Ah! Seven points of damage. Oh no, my arm, Lucas! Look, my arm. <laughs> Don't be jackass. So Lucas, the zombie horde roars. Do you fight back or do you run? I'll say no, by the bell. It's a distraction, a trap. Do not answer it. <laughs> no. Oh. No. Sorry, not interested. We all live on as heroes in the memories of the Calamar. Victory. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. You guys win. Congratulations. Well, I was just messing around. Hmm. Let's finish for real. Yeah. How much longer is the camp? Just forget it, Mike. No, you want to keep playing, right? Uh, yeah, totally. You guys we'll don't. Girls afterwards. I said forget it, Mike, okay? Come on, it's you guys. It's just that Will also needs to understand that they kind of have outgrown this, maybe. You know? They have girl problems no, now. On. You can't leave, it's raining. See? You don't know and you don't even care. And obviously he doesn't either and I don't blame him. You're destroying everything and for what? You could swap spit with some stupid girl. Elle's not stupid. It's not my fault you don't like girls. Oh! Mike! I'm not trying to be a jerk. Okay? Well, you gotta sound like Don't one. Don't kids anymore. Is it filled with ice? It is. Things are happening. Bad things are happening, dude. Okay, so they're like kind of like trapped in their own bodies or something like that, right? You come in peace. Oh. That's where we lost Bob. Oh. Yeah, I remember that. I don't need I don't need a recap. Oh. So someone is monitoring shit. Oh, we're back here. Does that mean that the Russians are around something? Okay. Target acquired. Where? 10 o'clock, Sam Goody's. Give me that. Evil Russian. No. <laughs> well. <laughs> All right, everyone, listen up. <laughs> I just have one question for you. Who is ready to sweat? <laughs> That's right. Okay, let's start it nice and easy now. Yeah. Ooh, yes. You <laughs> start feeling that burn. What? Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. What? What? Oh. Yeah. Silver cat. Go 
Robin, you're not going to leave. That's true. I was rushing. You did too. No, I did yes, not. Yes, you did. <laughs> no, I did not. But she's actually she's onto something. something. To China sounds nice. I'm blue. It's yellow. In the west. Oh, so right. there's a time. What are you doing? I cracked it. Cracked what? The code. I cracked the code. Yeah. Oh, she's smart. I the fuck. Oh, 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 oh. oh, there it is. You are a bunch of assholes. <laughs> Careful, it might have rabies. <laughs> I cannot wait till the day the Nancy's ru running this place. You assholes. It's over. No, don't say that. Don't ever say that. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. You're not losing your mind. Not any more than I am. You know, the other day I almost shot Betsy Payne's dog because it came rushing at me from behind this fence, and I, I swear to God, I thought it was one of those things. I want you to feel like this can still be your home. That's sweet. That's extremely what? sweet. You didn't think I'd find out about that? Gary called me. About what? He said he's fixing oh! the house to put on the market. Really? Is she really moving out? Is it because of what After Bob Sarah, said? I had to get away. I had to get the hell out of that place, you know? You have people that know what you've been through. You have people that care about you. That's right. true. In Hawkins. Aww. I mean, I mean people like Scott Clark. <laughs> That's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that could be a rat. But these days, rats are not a good sign either, Wait so. Here. Something is coming. Something hungry for blood. What is it? What if it's the Demogorgon? Oh, Jesus, we're so screwed if it's the Demogorgon. It's not we were babies. <laughs> It's just you want to you want to hang on to that. No. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad for him. It's just he wants to hold on to what he had. Oh, she must not be home. She's where was she going? Old woman, and it's pouring. Yeah, where would she be? Where else would she be? Is this dress cool? Why are we going downstairs? She got got eaten by a rat, didn't she? Dios mío santo. I don't think I'm missing Oh my god. Hey, what's in there? It's just more boxes. Let me check it out. No, I'm still looking. Let me see it. Hang on. You guys are idiots. <laughs> Look at them! <laughs> oh fuck. Guys, you're dealing with armed Russians, you know. Talking chief of police, come out with your hands up! You hear me? Hands up! Sure. 
If it's a fucking rat, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Sweetheart! Don't make noise! So why will he just kick his ass and that's it? I can't see shit. Oh, that's the guy. This is her house. What? Heather's house. Yeah, and that's 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 the the that's the guy, right? The uh, Nancy's boss. There's something wrong. We just wanted to make sure everything was okay. Okay. Why wouldn't it be okay? Where is she? Oh. I'm sorry. Where is who? Well, they're a little burnt. I'm sorry. Heather! This is my sister, Maxine. I saw your manager at the pool. He said you guys didn't come into work today, so we got worried. Heather wasn't feeling so hot today, so we thought we'd take the day off to nurse her back to health. But you're feeling just fine right now, aren't you, Heather? I'm feeling so much better. Oh, Here shit. No! They're fresh out of the oven. No, thank you. No, thank you, you're welcome, no. Oh, so we are recruiting people. Okay. There's no way you can remember that. That's the thing. Oh, shit. And now he feels it. back yes he is okay guys so that was the end of season three right episode three of stranger things so the case of the missing lifeguard lots of shit are happening all at once and possibly all connected Possibly. Most likely. All con connected. So. Billy. Is somehow. Or somewhat. In control. Mm, well I don't think so. He is. Good at pretending that he is, which I'm gonna think that is the thing taking over and actually adapting, you know, and using the host to create its army, right? And so it's this, there, it's collecting people. Now, how long will it last? It seems that on the rats, it doesn't last too much um, until they explode and they go back. Or maybe they infect some others. I don't know. Uh, but we do know that Billy and now Heather are infected and they are they are like a, a, a hive mind, right? All working for the collective of this entity. Uh, he, because Will used to call, refer to it as a he, we know that he likes it cold, and apparently, you know, in order to stay in the body or to, you know, they have, like, the bodies have to be cold, right? Um, and so they do this process, I guess, Billy does this process to kind of, like, make it make the thing steady in their body so they are able to continue infecting they need to go through the bath of ice at least once to kind of continue uh trying to uh take more and more you know 
Uh, we don't know if Billy is the first infected uh, or if there is someone else out there working as well for this thing to infect them as well and to, what, take over? At the end of the day, we don't necessarily know what it wants, but we do know that it's connected to that other place, to the bigger monster, right? So for this to, you know, be more people, right? At the end of the day, last time it was only Will and it served it, you know, it served its purpose for this entity of a spying and knowing what they were trying to do and so that he could, you know, be a step forward, you know, and know what the next plane was going to be. But now it's going to be a lot, hella, a lot more difficult since one, we are not going to know the amount of people that will be infected. Um, and uh, this way he can have, you know, eyes in the entire uh, town world if he continues with this, you know. But eventually I am going to guess will try to, I mean, it will, he will try to open the gate again uh, to make that connection and to properly infiltrate our world, right? And we know the Russians are trying to open it, you know, because the Americans were trying to open it and it, it, to use it as a weapon. And they think they can weaponize this as well. So we know and we know that it's happening currently here in Hawkins as well. Last time we had the lap, right? It's there. Uh, apparently one of these Russians, Russian, was is working or getting information maybe out of that lap there. And got Jim. And I don't know why beat the hell out of him and not kill him. Or why leave him there. Where he could have easily just escaped. And they will have absolutely no clue. He could have hide. They had nothing. They had absolutely nothing. They thought everything was fine. But now, of course, they're going to think something's up. And let's remember that... This, you know, um, person, whatever, whoever, you know, created the mall, right? Uh, yes, which is something that it happens in a lot of ci cities, capitalism, you know, and the big companies always come and kind of destroy small businesses, you know, uh, because, you know, they can't compete against these big uh, places and their prices, which is totally unfair, I think. But, you know, that's another subject. But now we know that it's connected. Like, the whole, like, riddle thing that Robin was able to uh, uh, decode, it's talking about the fact that they are working there. Their, I don't know, headquarters or whatever is there in the mall. And there are armed Russians bringing in all sorts of, like, things, boxes that we don't know what it is. But we do know that maybe because of the... Maybe they are working on it. Maybe that, that big thing that they were working back in Russia is here to try to open the gate. And that is creating this electromagnetic field that is messing with the magnets or, or something. That It's another information that Joyce has, but no one else has. The other, the kids also, other than Will and Dustin, you know, well, Lucas and, and Mike are completely out of the loop because they are only thinking about girls and about burping and, and, and farting and being terrible f friends to Will and Dustin, right? I'm so glad that Dustin is the type of person who is like, they're not my only friends, fuck that, you know, bye. And he actually, you know, is hanging out with Robin and Steve and, you know, he's investigating and all of that. 
Um, but I feel terrible for Will because I think that uh, for him, I, I, after everything that has happened, change is something that is extremely difficult for him. And there is the added fact of maybe he not being interested in girls right now or in romance in general right now. He wants to, you know, hold on to his childhood as much as he can, you know. And honestly, let's be real. People, grown people still play D&D. So it's not a wild thing to think that you, you can always rely on your friends and that your friends could be there for you and still you guys being a gang or a party, like they say, um, always, you know, and that sometimes, you know, yeah, you might have problems, relationship problems, but you can come back to your friends and, you know, be there and, and, and just game and, and be children at that moment, you know, and, but also... Will also has to understand that they are growing up, you know, and the other two do have girlfriends and are dealing with something else in their lives that is equally as important as remaining friends. We all grow up, we all change, we all, you know, we just, he just needs to understand that in order for him not to feel so bad. But I do understand that he feels alone in all of this. But in my opinion, you know, it's I understand both points of view, you know. Um, but I do feel terrible for for uh, Will, you know, because he's the one out of all of this that feels so alone and alienated from his friends because Dustin has his own thing. Uh, Mike and Lucas have their uh, own thing and he is left being Will the Wise with no one to play with, you know, so it's kind of sad. Um, but it's also understandable that the other two are worried about the fact that they don't have girlfriends anymore, you know. They are at that age when these things will matter, you know, so yeah. But that is happening. Now Will destroy his entire, you know, little castle that he had in the woods. Um... And he had a breakdown because of his childhood and his friends. And then he felt him, you know, it, that entity, you know, uh, which is, it's, it's so scary because in a way that thing is learning from every, every person that it, that it eats or controls. I'm going to guess that that thing is learning, right? Human behavior as well, you know, and how to you know, uh, sends your enemies. And that thing knows that it was Eleven who closed the door. So he is going to see Eleven as a threat. And possibly now Eleven has a target on her back because of the fact that, you know, it, it shares memory with Billy and it inform him that it was... Or maybe it didn't even inform him. It's just that entity is inside of Billy. And now he he remembers that it was Eleven, the one that closed the gap and the gate to the other side, you know? So, yeah. On the other hand, Dustin is like, you know, um, giving ideas to uh, Steve about the fact that, hey, you know, you're no longer in high school. Actually, you don't have to win any popularity t tests here or whatever. Um, and you could be with someone that you actually like and feel comfortable with. And you do feel comfortable with with Robin. Which, honestly, I will be extremely upset if it is like that. Because, like, you can't just bring, you can't just bring a, a girl in just to be the love interest of Steve. Because if it happened, I want Steve to be happy. I love Steve. You know, I love, love, love Steve. I, I don't understand why girls are giving him a hard time or whatever, you know. Um, but the thing is that it could be a little bit more spontaneous, I guess, you know. Um, I don't know. And I feel like this whole, like, oh, 
just because he's a boy and she's a girl, of course they have to be together. It's so, it's so stupid, <laughs> you know? And I wish it could be something else. I wish that it, they could remain as friends. Like, you know, really, really friends, you know? But I don't know. I don't, I don't, maybe it's not, I don't know, you know? And also because she gives me a vibe. You know what vibe, right? The, the gay one. But I don't know if they're going to go there or not. Um, because, like, they already have, like, sometimes shows and showrunners. They are like, oh, yeah, we are all about, you know, inclusion and, like, you know. But we have the one gay character and that, you know, is Will or could be Will. So we don't need more, you know. We meet the quota. So I don't know if they're going to, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's my, I don't know, my hopes, I don't, I, honestly, I don't know. But, I mean, it could be, right? I, I have no idea. But, they're hinting at Steve and Robin. Do they have chemistry? Yes, but I see, like, a more, like, buddy, buddy type of, of, of chemistry. I don't really see a romantic interest. It's, like, more of, like, the same energy you get from Dustin and Steve, like, they are buddies, they are friends, they are, you know, regardless of the fact that one is younger than the other, you know, but you get this vibe that they are friends, you know, they are friends, they are there for each other, they understand each other, they kind of speak the same language, and, like, I feel the same thing with Robin and Steve and Dustin, you know, that they all have that same energy of being just each other's friends, you know, so, I mean, yes, they hold hands, they were scared. That doesn't mean that it's like, oh my god, this is the next greatest love story. Maybe it is, though. But if it is, I really hope that they... It pays off, and it's not just because they're a boy and a girl, you know? You know what I mean? It That it actually pays off. If you're telling me right now, is it that I'm shipping Steve and Robin? I'm not. As friends, best buddies, yes. But not as a rom- I don't feel any romantic thing going on, vibe going on between them. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it will happen. But like for something like that, I think it will should have happened from the get go, you know. But it hasn't. So I don't know. Call me crazy. Um, what else happened? Lots of things happened, right? We do know also that Billy is able to see. Uh, 11 when she walks between not she doesn't walk between worlds unlike will how he fling between like his mind going into the upside down and his body being here you know it's not like that 11 gets to this state where she can it's not a parallel universe or anything it's like a it's like in between or like like in the shadows a different plane or something. I don't know. And she can find people that way. But Billy was able to see her like something, you know, because somehow, you know, uh, they are connected in a way, right? Um, which is scary. Because imagine if that thing is also um, could enter that place where where 11 is when she's you know navigating that it's just terrifying you know what I mean it's terrifying I will be terrified and I I am terrified for for 11 though I am liking her relationship and her friendship with um with Max like I'm loving the the you know the girls are investigating and going everywhere and like you know I like that. I really do. I think that they should take a lot more advantage of of how powerful and kick-ass these two uh, ladies are, you know. So, yeah. Um, Anyways, what else happened? Well, Jim got his ass handed to him. Um, I don't know why he didn't got killed, though. Um... mm. What else? What else? What else? Or why didn't the guy just like Jim was knocked out and he heard the voice of Joyce? Why didn't he just kill 
both of them right there. I'm gonna guess kill the chief police wouldn't be a good idea, but kicking his ass and leaving him alive to tell the story, pretty sure not the greatest idea. It would have been easier to kill him and put him on a ditch or something like that. And you will never find him. A lot easier than just to kick his ass. I don't know. That's that. Mm, I don't know. There's something there. Of course, there's something there. But yeah, I love how everything seems like you can see all the dots, right? Everything, um, and it's just like it's slowly like the dots are slowly connecting, you know. Um, and then oh, Nancy. Everyone that Nancy works for, they are assholes. All of them. Uh, not a reason for me to say, oh, I'm so glad that the guy just got, you know, possessed by this, like, or that the family, the entire family got possessed. No, that's not what I'm thinking, you know. Um, that's not what I'm thinking. But they, they were assholes and, like, they're going to regret not listening to Nancy, wouldn't they? <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Um, that is connecting because, like, they are following the rats. The rats. Oh, and what happened to the, the, the old lady? Is she also infected? Did the rat infect her? Is the rat inside of her? Ay, Dios mío. I don't know. But it's eating, it's feeding, and it's probably going to go back. I have no idea, dude, okay? It's just, like, she was eating the dirt to become powerful. I... I have no idea, but it was disgusting and it's scary. Um, and also, I feel like what is his name? Uh, Nancy and Jonathan are, are pretty boring. I'm 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 gonna say that, but um, I feel like their storyline is leading them to the middle of all of this chaos. It's gonna be pretty interesting where where all the the paths are gonna lead to the same place, and they're gonna be all like, "What the fuck do you know? What the fuck do you know? What the?" What do you know? And like all of them are going to connect the dots by the end, I feel. And it's going to be, you know, hopefully no one exploding. But like it's going to be like mind blowing. You know what I mean? Anyways, this was a great episode. Third episode. Very, very bueno. Muy bueno. Excelente. Epico. I liked it. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction video for this episode. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give a lot of thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction. It's always posted first on Patreon in case you guys want to check that out. Link as always will be in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. Hope you guys continue supporting for more. For now, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Stranger Things. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. I don't know why I say woo woo. I'm sorry. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.